Gardening is an art form. As gardeners, we are artists. Our canvas, however, is not limited to any artificially constructed surface. Our canvas is the earth. Much like an artist striving to learn the fundamentals of their materials, we as gardeners must study the natural world around us. And in doing so, our newfound knowledge will not only improve our gardening proficiency, it will also strengthen the appreciation we have for Mother Nature. The following video will be the first of many in which we take an in-depth look into the various living organisms and their non-living abiotic components that together make up the planet's ecosystem. Hi fellow gardeners, welcome to Garden with Jenny, I'm Jenny. Today's topic is all is, is oh, blah, 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 blah. Today's topic is all about insects life cycle. Insects go through a process called metamorphosis. This means as the insect ages and matures, it takes on a different form. Take for example, the monarch butterfly. It goes from a green weird looking caterpillar to a beautiful gorgeous orange black and white butterfly. Right there. Beautiful. I mean, the butterfly is just beautiful. So here's an interesting fact. Almost all insects begin life as an egg, although most aphids and a few unusual insects give birth to live young. Now I got that from a book called The Bonide Best Solutions Problem Solver. We can use it in the business to help um, identify either an insect or a disease and ways to approach said insect or disease. So there are two different types of versions of the life cycle of an insect. There's the simple and the complete. <laughs> Shut up, Mark. The bad that I- okay, wait, let's do that again. Okay. <laughs> there are two, two, two different ways an insect can metamorphosize. Is that even a word? I don't know. I might have made it up. There's the simple, which I'll get into a minute, and the complete cycle of life for insects. The simple metamorphosis goes from egg to nymph to zolt. So there's only three different stages in this life cycle. And a lot of times the um, the middle stage, the nymph stage, looks almost exactly like the adult. An example of this is going to be a spider mite. It looks like a beady little tiny pinprick of a bug that you can barely even tell it's a bug. It's like a speck of dust on your leaves that scurries around um, sometimes they're red, sometimes they're too spotted, all that kind of stuff. But that is an example of the simplified metamorphosis. Nymphs and adults also of the simplified metamorphosis, they will attack the same plants. And they will do the same damage because they initially are the, they are almost, they are one and the same. The only thing is, is one is bigger because it's more mature. It's the only difference. The complete metamorphosis consists of four different stages. Egg larva, pupa, and adult. So you start off as an egg, when the egg hatches, it co becomes this wormy thing. It's, doesn't matter how big it is, it can be as big as a freaking caterpillar, it can be as tiny as a grub. It goes into this larval stage, whether they're a beneficial insect or not. Most caterpillars, in general, do, will do some sort of feeding in this stage. As I was saying earlier, the monarch butterfly is a great example of the complete metamorphosis. It can, its larva is a green caterpillar, which in return will pupate, which is when it cocoons itself into a, either a chrysalis or some sort of, it goes into that pupa stage where it's kind of a dormant stage they don't eat. And then as it emerges into the adult, it looks completely different from the larval stage. One more thing about the pupa stage. As it enters that chrysalis for monarch butterflies, that case is like a protective case. It's there to protect it as it's doing that transition. Because otherwise it's, you know, vulnerable because it's in that dormant stage. As I said before, monarch butterflies are a great example of this. They're wonderful creatures, beautiful, majestic, they're great pollinators, they're just wonderful in general. And I hope you found this this video informative. I'm going to be doing some insect alerts telling you about um, bad insects in the future, some beneficials like ladybugs. So if you don't mind, stick around. And until next time, stay green, folks. Do, do, do.